Saya Baker Barnes is the Florida Bar's president-elect, and we are so honored to have her join us this morning. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for having me. What do you think about all of this? Congratulations, <laughs> and um, you are our president-elect, and I guess we'd start with your background. Sure. How did you decide to become a lawyer? Oh gosh, so I'll, I'll, I'll give the brief version. So let me start by just thanking you for having me. I um, have a great affinity for FAMU and FAMU Law. Both of my parents are Rattlers. Uh, my, my parents are first generation college graduates oh, and they wow. went to FAMU. Awesome. And even though I went to Florida State and I'm a huge Seminole, I co-opted FAMU. I did all of my journalism and got a minor in journalism from mm -hmm. FAMU and have a ton of family. So I just have a great uh, affinity for Florida A&M University. And so I went to college to be a news reporter. That's what I wanted to do. I, I love sports. <laughs> I love to talk. I was going to be like the Maria Taylor right. of, you know, <laughs> 30 years ago, and and for me, I um, I loved the speaking, but there was something that was missing for me, and mm -hmm. I ended up uh, going to law school. Mm -hmm. And I think that um, having being able to be an advocate and being able to um, use my talent in terms of um, speaking in a way that produced an outcome for someone yes. was something that I really wanted to do. And, and, I, and I found that yeah. uh, in being a lawyer. And so that's how I ended up on the, the law path. And I've been practicing now for, for almost 25 years. So here I am. That's amazing. Yeah. That's a, we had similar paths. I was a yes. journalism major and shifted, and I've been practicing for 15, but I yes. would have never guess that you practiced in that long. 24, yeah, 24 <laughs> years, 24 um, years. Wow, and so what do you, how would you say that the Florida Bar um, affects our community? What are some of the... Well, I mean, the Florida Bar, so in order to be a lawyer in the state of Florida, right, every one of us has to be a member of the Florida Bar. Mm -hmm. And I think some people might view it as, well, this is just what I have to do in order to be a lawyer. Mm -hmm. But I learned through um, things like the Leadership Academy, through being involved on committees, mm -hmm. through um, being in my role, I was president of the Palm Beach County Bar Association, mm -hmm. that through our bar leadership, we have the opportunity to provide pathways for the next generation mm -hmm. and for those that will come after us. We have opportunities to develop great relationships, friendships, uh, business relationships, marketing relationships. There's so much more, I think, to the bar than just you have to do this to be a lawyer. So mm -hmm. one of my goals is really to sort of um, help educate people on all of the positive things that the bar does as it relates to mm -hmm. enhancing your practice, yes. helping you to be a better lawyer, helping you to be a better person, mm -hmm. whether it's a focus on mental health, whether it's a focus on you know how we relate to our clients and how we relate to our community. So mm -hmm. I think there's a really a broader scope to the bar that sometimes isn't seen, but it's a really important part, I think, of what we do and what makes us, I think, sometimes successful. Those are great points because you're right. Um, and fortunately, um, I think that I'm glad you highlighted that because mm -hmm. it had it not been for someone sharing what the benefits of being uh, participating in bar mm -hmm. activities was in law school, then I would have missed out as well. Yeah. And so what, having said that, mm -hmm. what would be one of your biggest um, pieces of advice for law students or, or recent graduates? Let's go to recent graduates. Okay. so. My biggest piece of advice um, is to get outside of your comfort zone. Mm. I think that so many times we place internal limitations on ourselves and we don't reach our full potential mm -hmm. and we don't know how far we can go because we don't, we're not willing to test ourselves mm -hmm. and take a risk, right? Nobody wants to lose, nobody wants to fall down, right. I don't want to be a failure, mm -hmm. but really you're never going to know how far you can go until you you, you take that chance, right? And you are speaking and living that and as the first black woman to ever be the president-elect of the Florida Bar. Mm -hmm. So I certainly um, think that getting out of our comfort zones and what does that look like in the community? Sure. You know, because yeah. if you thought you, you, just like you thought you were gonna go to journalism, mm -hmm. as a lawyer, what unexpected twists have right. you had since becoming a lawyer? Well, you know, I will tell you, so I handle um, complex, catastrophic, personal injury, medical malpractice, product liability cases. I'm a trial lawyer, mm -hmm. and I spend my time in the courtroom. And as a young lawyer, I, I knew I wanted to be in the courtroom, but I didn't know how to get myself mm -hmm. into the courtroom. And I was, you know, I, I practiced at the same firm my whole career, Cersei, Denny, Squirrel, <laughs> Barnhart, and Shipley, I've been there 
almost 25 years. Wow. And um, but I came in as a brand new lawyer mm. out of straight out of law school that knew absolutely nothing. I just knew I wanted to be in the courtroom. Mm -hmm. And we you know, they were handling big cases that young lawyers don't really get the opportunity to to go to trial on. Right. right. And I didn't know that I needed to say. I want to go to trial and I want to do this. And so many times people would go to trial and I would just go watch or I'd be sitting in the back of the courtroom mm -hmm. or maybe I'd get one witness, but I really wanted to do the opening or, you know, maybe I'd be able to argue one motion, but I really wanted to do the closing argument mm -hmm. and I just wouldn't say it. And I got to a point where I was like, what am I doing? Mm -hmm. You know, what, yeah. what are you doing? Right. And so I got an opportunity to try a big case with you know some of the partners before I became a partner in the firm and I was like okay I'm gonna do it this time and they had given me like three you know pretty serious witnesses hmm. in the case and I was ready and I was prepared and all of that and and the trial was televised and we're in the war room and there's like all this pressure on us right and and one of the lawyers said you know this is a big deal say you know why don't you let us take those witnesses it wasn't it wasn't a I didn't take it negatively. Mm -hmm. I understood that it was a big moment for the firm and for our client and all of that. But in my mind, I was like, I said, no, no, I prepared for this. I'm ready for this. I got this. And I walked out the door and then I was like, oh my God, I'm oh, going to wow. get fired, you know? On and TV. I did it. And it, um, and it turned out well. And it turned out so well that they said, you know, we, you're going to do a part of the closing argument in the case and I did and we had a, we got a big verdict and it was like that was I feel like your moment my yeah, moment yeah, of okay I'm not gonna sit back and wait mm -hmm. anymore I'm gonna say what yeah. I want to do and then I'm gonna do it I could have gone in there and totally you know flopped luckily I did not yeah um, but that was a big moment well yes first of all litigating and then on television yes. that's that's all thank you for the inspiration mm -hmm. <laughs> we certainly mm -hmm. appreciate you yes. stopping by Absolutely. to share a bit of your journey with yes. us and i look forward to your leadership thank you so much and thank you for having me thank you all right there's more legal connections coming up <laughs>